Well, hello there, farmers! Nah, no, I'm just kidding. You ever watch other videos and people are so obnoxious with their intros? Anyways. Um, what do we have today? We have... Basically a parade of John Deere's. Uh, we have a 9620R. We have a 9620RX. Uh, all pulling uh, the new John Deere 54 2623 uh, disc. Soil management. Uh, we have Raphael's uh, 9560RT. We have a uh, kind of challenger MT875E bringing up the rear, and uh, Kitty, Kitty's just the purr and ready to get to work. So what we're gonna do is um, we're just gonna go BTO, big time operation on 19 over here uh, with the uh, uh, innovative H track four track design. Anyways, uh, there's such a heated discussion between like John Deere and like Case, and like the, who like honestly, who cares? Tracks are tracks. There's only w so many ways you can design a track. <laughs> it's like a car. Anyways, I think it's. This guy to unfold. While we're waiting for this guy to unfold. Man, it looks such a clean burn. No defects. I don't think I actually took the time to actually. Even the even the springs came out really nice, and these little cylinders for hoses I didn't make. Cotton pins and cotton pin back here. Even the back end of these bolts, really nice. You know, see what I mean? These ones, this one's all effed up, so I'm gonna have to redo that. Set this guy like fifteen. Then we're gonna drop his disc down, turn on field detection. Okay, a little forward. This guy needs to unfold. It's gonna be really interesting. I wanna set this guy back. Okay. 
Now we got everyone set up here. Gonna reduce my cruise control down to like 12. This guy. This is awesome. All right. Load up my GPS. Give me something like that. Something like that. Lock in. All right. So we're in the. 9620R. Um, got ourselves a 9620RX in the back. my GPS again. I got a new line. Look at the amount of ground we're covering with these discs. I mean, this is a huge field. This field is like 55 hectares, you know? So we're basically doing 60... Sixty two meters <laughs> of tillage right now. This is awesome. Here we are just chilling in our suspension cab. We got a ninety six twenty RX in the background. Nice view from the uh, fuel tanks here. Disking up these weeds. The soybean stubble. Going eleven. Going a little bit faster than everyone else. So this is where we were starting to get hung up over here when I did the other video and I have since went and made some adjustments so the disc folds a little bit nicer and I decreased the depth node and stuff so hopefully we won't miss any, any spaces. Interesting turning situation right now. We're still missing. Well, this is stupid. Follow me, I thought you were smarter than this. This is quite the situation. Let's drive over it. There we go. So this is a pretty cool uh, machine here. The 
this is uh, I really like this this try to this is probably the one that we're gonna go with on our uh, dedicated server it's just uh, really nice looking uh, tractor and it has all the uh, uh, functions you come to expect um, including lights and stuff like that and come out here can uh, open up the hood and see the nice engine in there and close out that uh. and you know the RT is you know it's pretty good as well um, except you know the moment we we start uh, picking up some uh, green tractors we're gonna have to eventually go to green combines but I think we're gonna transition to the Lexion combine so if we get uh, you know this challenger and then we get a small kitty so we could do uh pull the dn with the small kitty and uh, the eventual land roller anyways disc is sitting nice i still have to lower the nodes because it's still missing you know what i have to do i'm going to look at my db120 planner and see what i did because i think i have because this has multiple cutting areas so i think i need to put like a depth node in each of these wings, if I'm not mistaken. So if we scroll up here, you look at this field, I mean, that's literally like less than 10 passes we'd have this whole field finished, but as you can see, there's still little areas that we're missing. So uh, that's, uh, that's 200 feet of discs right there that's what 200 feet looks like working with um, and you look at the rest of the map you know we could easily easily use a disc like that on this on this farm uh, just did the math the other day it's uh, around 2500 farmable it's close to 2600 farmable farmable uh, acres um, there's actually a, quite a bit more grassy spots that I wasn't able to get any calculation on um, so there's, uh, just a tad over 2,600 acres, I do believe, of, uh, tillable land on this map, and, uh, on our server we're at 898 of those. Um, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, that was fun. Maybe I could think of something else to do, BTO, like big uh, big DB planters or something, or maybe like uh, 8R and uh, DB60 planters in one field, kind of like this. That'd be cool. Anyway, thanks for watching.